Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Black Devil Cacao Flavored Cigarettes from Japan, which contain 10 milligrams of tar and 0.8 milligrams of nicotine, making them a little bit lighter than not. But I mean, like, hey, these are chocolate-flavored cigarettes, so I certainly cannot complain too much, that is for sure. But what is Black Devil as a brand? Well, Black Devil is a brand of cigarettes that are made by Who Pink and Blowman, which is a tobacco company from the Netherlands. Now, Black Devil as a brand is known for their flavored cigarettes, and this is one of their flavored cigarettes. However, these days they also make some unflavored cigarettes as well. Black Devil, from what I know, used to be quite popular in Europe, um, but then flavor bands started rolling through in a lot of different countries and everything like that kind of thing, which uh, kind of ended the popularity of Black Devil. Now, from what I know, at least, Black Devil is still sold within some European countries, but it's definitely not as common as it used to. But thankfully, Black Devil and flavored Black Devils are very, very, very uh, easy to find in Japan. So I am very, very, very thankful that I am, well, getting the opportunity to try this pack of cigarettes right here that is for sure uh, one other thing I wanted to mention before I go ahead and hop into my expectations is that this is indeed the last pack of cigarettes that I have to review from my Japan trip I brought back when I was coming back from Japan I brought back uh, a lot of cigarettes and um, uh, this is the last pack of them I have some other stuff to review. I have some heat not burn products. I have some just um, straight up tobacco and everything like that kind of thing to review. But for real cigarettes, this is my last pack. And um, I'm gonna miss smoking Japanese cigarettes after I'm all done with this pack, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really gonna miss it. They've been fantastic. Um, but I do suppose with that out of the way, uh, let, let's go ahead and hop right into my expectations for, well, the Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan. But what are my expectations taste-wise for these cigarettes right here? Well, if I had to guess, since these are cacao flavored cigarettes, they're probably going to taste like chocolate, if I had to guess. However, I'm not really expecting like a super sweet milky dark chocolate sort of taste or milky uh, milk chocolate sort of taste or something like that kind of thing. I am more so than not expecting a sort of dark chocolate like taste with some sort of sweetness in there as well. That is the taste that I am expecting to get from these cigarettes right here. Maybe there will be a slight bit of sourness from the actual tobacco in this cigarette as well, but more so than not, I'm expecting a, a nice mildly sweet sort of a slightly bitter dark chocolate taste if I had to guess hopefully with some creaminess in there as well but uh, I don't want to set my expectations too high that is for sure um, body wise I am definitely not expecting the biggest body in the world but I'm also not expecting a super small body either these only have 10 milligrams of tar and 0.8 milligrams of nicotine and they're probably going to have a line of perforation on the filter as well so I'm definitely not expecting a super big body from these that is for sure but I'm also not expecting a super small body by many and by any means either I'd have to say um Airflow wise, I'm expecting the airflow to be pretty good, but I'm expecting there to be some constriction in the draw just simply due to that uh, perforation that I am expecting to find on the filter. And then I'd have to say probably roughness and smoothness wise, I'm expecting these to definitely be smoother than not. They're a flavored cigarette. So as such, I think I'm expecting these to probably be like a, a three, four, maybe five out of 10 on a scale of one to 10 with um, uh, one being the smoothest and 10 being the roughest. I'm definitely expecting these to be on the lower level of the scale that is for sure. Um, but but those are pretty much my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here. I uh, do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get, um, well, right into the packaging of, well, the Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan. After I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. But first off, as said, we got to go ahead and go over the packaging, which I will admit is a pretty nice look. Now, I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with Black Devil packaging as a whole, but this pretty much just looks like Black Devil packaging, just with a different background color to it and different text right here. That's pretty much what it looks like. The brand continuity for Black Devil is really, really, really good. And 
depending on what cigarette you're you're trying from them, depending depending on what cigarette you're smoking from them, it, it's it's pretty simple how their design changes. They change the actual name of the cigarette right here, and then they change the background color, and that's all they do. The brand continuity for Black Devil is really, really, really good, and I really, really, really do like it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but let's go ahead and start going over the details so we can just see the background for the cacao uh, Black Devils. This is a very, very, very nice, I'd have to say almost, ooh, like gunmetal slate sort of gray or something like that kind of thing. I really like how this looks i ain't gonna lie i think it's a good looking gray although i definitely do think there are better looking black devil colors out there but i definitely do think that the gray looks pretty good that is for sure and then we can just see uh at the top of the pack right here we can see a ribbon going all the way around and that goes all the way around the packaging so yes technically the design on this pack does stretch away it does stretch all the way around it but uh it's only this one little detail that does do that up here we can just see in red it just says uh, 20 black filter cigarettes and then it just says cacao in bigger text under that uh, all of that has a uh, a black border i definitely have to say it all has a black border going around it but it's a very 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 small black border and the black border is definitely more easy to see with the smaller text up top just simply because it's it's smaller text kind of thing um but we could just see it just says cacao right there and then under the cacao right there we could just see the black devil logo right here we could see there is a darker gray sort of um disc going around um, a silver uh, border going around a red circle in the middle which contains a um well a, a black devil i do suppose he's he's got the pitchfork he's got the horns he's got the tail and everything like that kind of thing and he is black so i i do suppose that is probably um the black devil they're referring to when they, when they say the name black devil cigarettes if i had to guess that makes sense in my head at least that makes sense in my head at least um but we could just see all of that right there pretty nice design with some nice metallic silver certainly no complaints on my behalf there is some texture to it some of it feels like it's recessed but none of it really feels like it's embossed per se i definitely have to say and the texture of the um or not the texture sorry the look of the disc that is going around the design in the center right there has a very 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 interesting texture to it almost like a oh i'm trying to think of what the texture almost like a canvasy texture like it's um and it's like a slightly darker gray as well i don't know what it is i don't really know how to nail that texture but it's just like a or i don't really know how to nail the description of that texture um but it's just like a slightly darker gray kind of thing and it's got a very, very interesting texture to it i'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera but it looks pretty good that is for sure and it is a little bit bright out here today so i'm gonna go put my sunglasses back on and we can just see right here under the logo but going through the uh disc right here just a little bit we can just see it just says black devil right there in a very 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 nice metallic silver and of course black devil is indeed copyrighted as well this is all uh i'd have to say recessed just a little bit i want to say it doesn't really feel like it's embossed. I want to say it's recessed into the pack just a little bit, which gives it a very nice texture if I do say so myself. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, but that metallic silver looks fantastic. I am a big fan of it, that is for sure. And then if we slide the packaging just like this, we could just see it just says Black Devil right there in red. And that has, I'd, I want to say that has a, a very, very, very slight um black border going around it but nothing too significant nothing really super noticeable i think that's there yeah i'd have to say there's probably a uh i'd have to say there's definitely a, a black border goat but it's it's very 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 small if i do say so myself but the black devil text looks really good looks really handwritten and everything like that kind of thing looks like something you'd see in a satanic horror movie or something like that kind of thing i think it looks pretty good that is for sure so certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure as well um overall what are my final thoughts on the design on the front of the pack um from a distance it is i definitely have to say a little bit more distinct than not um but also not really at the same time the gray kind of makes it blend in a little bit too well in my personal opinion i definitely think the background color for this pack of cigarettes doesn't really make it pop very well and the red accents are just so small where those don't even make it pop either i don't really think this is the most distinct pack in the world from a distance i will admit um but up close it does look pretty good in hand hand but i do have some complaints about the packaging as well why while, while i like the details of the design um it kind of frustrates me at the same time because it's like they couldn't make up their mind where they wanted the details to go like we have like this side this side and then it's like that right there and then this is all blank this is just background like it looks terrible i i really am not a super big I, it looks edgy it doesn't look terrible per se but it just annoys me how these just are right over here and this is like right over here kind of like they, they, they like as i'm sure you guys can tell this packaging frustrates me i i'm really i like what they're trying to do with black devil 
cigarette packaging. But I think there's so much, I think there's a way better way to do it. <laughs> I think there's a way better way to do it kind of thing. I mean, like, obviously they're going for the whole edgy thing kind of thing. And I think this packaging definitely looks more edgy than not kind of thing. The gray with the red with the silver and the, and, and the, and the design right here and everything like that kind of thing. I definitely do think that it looks more edgy than not. And, and they're trying to be something that's not, they're not trying to be a luxury cigarette. And they're also not trying to be like a, a, a base level budget cigarette or anything like that kind of thing. They're trying to be a mid-range edgy cigarette kind of thing. And I think they've really accomplished that with this packaging. I really do think that this packaging really does scream mid-range edgy cigarette. I think that's what it screams, but I, I don't know. I just don't really like it's just I think it's just because I really feel like this logo right here could be bigger and they could have put this on the top and then just had like black devil right here or they could have put like this on the top and then like I, I don't know. I just feel like there's so many other things they could have done and I just feel like because of the warning label right here they kind of got a little bit lazy and just threw a bunch of details on. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a really big fan of this packaging. Now don't get me wrong. It is definitely better packaging than not, and it's not really bad packaging either. It's just uh, my own personal biases are making me not really like the, the way the packaging looks, I will admit. But, but it's not bad packaging. The brand continuity is good. I think, they, I think they accomplished what they wanted to set out to accomplish and everything like that kind of thing, but I just think it could be better. I just think the packaging could be better. Let me, let me just put it that way. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to stop ranting about the front of the pack. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the warning label right here. We can see separating the design on the front of the pack from the warning label right here. There is a little bit of a white line. Then the warning label on the front just says, I want to say something along the lines of um, be, um, be aware of your surroundings. Um, remember passive smoking exists and, and, and stuff like that kind of thing. And passive smoking can cause danger to other people and stuff like that kind of thing. If I remember correctly, that's what it says. Um, and passive smoking, I'm assuming they're referring to uh, secondhand smoking uh, and stuff like that kind of thing, if I had to guess. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what the warning label says on the front of the pack. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the back of the packaging. And we can see the back of the packaging is quite literally pretty much exactly the same as the front. Um, the uh, back of the packaging, this uh, logo does go up just a little bit more into this, whereas on the front, it's a little bit lower, I definitely have to say, but not really uh, significantly so. Other than that, the uh, back and the front of the packaging are pretty much exactly the same in all honesty, besides the warning label right here. Um, so since there's nothing new way or interesting to the back of the packaging. I'm going to go and tell you guys what the warning label says. Uh, the warning label just says, hey, you can't buy these cigarettes if you're under 20 in Japan. And then it goes on to say that smoking can cause lung cancer, um, like heart disease or something like that kind of thing. I think I can't remember in all honesty. Yeah, it goes on to say that smoking can cause lung cancer. I remember that, but then I, everything after that is a blur and I can't remember what it says. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging though. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to this side of the pack right here. We can see that red line up top right there. And then we could just see it. Uh, it just says how to recycle uh, this packaging or how to throw away this packaging in the proper uh, garbage bin and everything like that kind of thing right here as pretty much everything from Japan does say. Pretty much everything from Japan has these little symbols and the packs of cigarettes are no different, of course. Then moving on below that, we could just see the barcode. Excuse me. I had to burp. We can just see the barcode right here, which is not integrated into the packaging. They took out a chunk, put it white, and then made the barcode right here. That is a little bit frustrating. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but it is what it is. I think they could have definitely integrated it a little bit better, but it is what it is. I can't complain too much, I do suppose. As long as the cigarettes are good. As long as the cigarettes are good. Uh, and then under the barcode, we could just see in white, it just says, uh, Who Pink and Blowman Tobacco. Oop, Marsum NL, and then we could just see there's some tobacco leaves up there, and that, that's what the Hooping and Blowman logo looks like. Cannot complain. This side of the packaging is a pretty okay look, if I do say so myself. Then on the other side of the packaging, we could just see it just says uh, that these cigarettes have 10 milligrams of tar and 0 0.8 milligrams of nicotine. And then right here, we could just see it just says uh, that depending on how you smoke the cigarette, you might get Oh, I have this upside down. Um, it just says that depending on how you smoke the cigarette, you might get um, varying levels of tar and varying levels of nicotine. If you smoke uh, the entire cigarette, of course, you're going to get the full amounts and everything like that kind of thing. But if you don't smoke the full amount, well, you're not going to get the full amount kind of thing. Of course, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. Uh, and then we can just see um, below that, and this is all in, in white text and everything like that kind of thing. And but, but, below, but below that, it just says Black Devil and a very, very, very nice uh, metallic um, sort of shiny look once again. Is this all recessed? It does indeed feel and look slightly recessed to me, so certainly no complaints on my behalf.
let's go and take a look at the top of the packaging. The top of the packaging is pretty basic, just the gray, um, just the gray background, and then it just says Black Devil and that same metallic look that we see on uh, the front of the packaging right there and on the side of the packaging right here. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think it's a pretty good look and a pretty distinguishable look at that. You immediately know that. What the pack of cigarettes you got, uh, you're looking at right there is a, definitely a pack of Black Devils. And if you know the color, then you immediately know that it's a, that it's a, a cacao Black Devil. Uh, but moving on to the bottom of the packaging, we have a massive fucking disappointment. Um, <laughs> I don't usually cuss in videos, but um, I, every single Black Devil has pissed me off Every single Black Devil cigarette has pissed me off so much because they don't even try with the bottom of the pack. They don't even try. It pisses me off. Like, and this is just like, this is one of the things that really makes me think that they just really were not trying with this packaging. Like, come on, you could have done, they could have done so much better. They could have done so much, like literally just reorganize this, make a little bit bigger kind of thing, make some a little bit smaller. I think it would have looked so much damn better. But no, it looks like it's so janky. And yeah, they still accomplish what they wanted to accomplish kind of thing, but it looks so half-assed. And the bottom makes you think that they really didn't care at all. I hate it. We could just see, we get some numbers right here on black. And it just says 21337. We just get a little bit of barcode right there. And then it just says um, L some C W L one Z O L Y L W six eight. And this is also on black. And then we just get a little bit of the sort of gray right there. Um, but there's no Black Devil logo on the bottom of the packaging. Everybody else does it. Everybody else does it. So why couldn't Black Devil? So half-assed. The bottom of the packaging was so half-assed, and I'll be, I'll be honest, the design on the front of the packaging and the back of the packaging feels half-assed as well. And this barcode, half-assed. Now this packaging is definitely still better than not. It looks edgy. It doesn't look bad per se. But I do genuinely believe that it could be better. And to me, at least, it feels half-assed. So as such, the, the packaging is going to be getting an average rating. From a distance, it's not really even the most distinct pack of cigarettes in the world. I mean, like, it's more distinct than not, I guess. But it's not really all that distinct, in all honesty, especially when compared to other Japanese packs of cigarettes. And, I mean, like, you move up close kind of thing, and it looks pretty good in hand. But, I mean, like, there are definitely other packs of cigarettes that look a lot better. And, like, this is average packaging, in my opinion. It really is average packaging, in my opinion. And I really do, I hate to say it, have complaints on my behalf. Um, I do think without further ado, though, it is now time for me to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. And it is now time for me to go ahead and let you guys know um, what the quality of the packaging is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like. So uh, let's go ahead and get the cellophane all off. Shove that in my backpack. Can't be littering or nothing like that. Now, the overall quality of the packaging uh, seems to be, well, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's actually, it's actually pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty average quality packaging nothing too exorbitant per se but definitely not bad quality packaging although this is still very frustrating um the overall texture of the packaging is i'd have to say very much a, a slightly sticky sort of printed paperboard texture and all everywhere where this there's this like metallic um sort of a uh, glossy look kind of thing this is all recessed which is really nice and it does add some really nice texture to the packaging that is for sure so i am definitely a fan of that Yep, even on the side of the pack right there, it is a little bit recessed. I am a fan of that, that is for sure. Um, but overall, you know, pretty good quality packaging. I certainly cannot diss on the quality of the packaging, just only on the look of the packaging. Um, but I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up and let's go and take a look at what the cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like after I take a look at the inside of the cigarette lid where there is nothing and the foil right here, taking a look at the insert and everything like that kind of thing. The insert is just a basic white insert, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. But the foil, thankfully, is indeed unique. It's just silver foil that just says Black Devil, Black Devil, uh, Black Devil, Black Devil, Black Devil over and over and over again. It has a very nice foily texture to it. Let's go ahead and get that all out. Rips out very easily. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And uh, now let's go ahead and get one of the Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes all out. And let's go ahead and take a look at what these cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. Although I will admit, oh man, man, trying to get this lid back on. There we go. All right, it tried to slip into like the um, the, the cigarette uh, holder and everything like that kind of thing. A little bit, not too big a deal, but um, I've got a bunch of stuff in my hand. I was like, is this tobacco? No, it's just leaves. 
because there's a bunch of stuff on the bottom of the water bottle. I was like, why, why is there tobacco all over my hand? I was like, what the hell? No, thankfully not tobacco, I will admit. Um, taking a look at the look of the cigarette, we can see um, that of course we get the uh, black paper, black filter look. Of course, this is Black Devil. They're known for having black paper, black filter. Uh, now the paper and the filter are indeed slightly different colors, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is, I will admit. This has more of a bluish sheen to it, whereas this is more of an actual um, black look to it, I definitely have to say. Uh, we could just see it just has, it just says uh, Black Devil right there with the copyright symbol right there and silver looking pretty good if I do say so myself. So you know, it just says Black Devil right there in silver. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then we could just see there is a silver band right there on the top of, or on the bottom of the uh, cigarette filter, I do suppose, not on the top. If you're, if you're holding it this way, I guess it would be on the top, but since I'm holding it this way, it's the bottom. But yeah, no, not a bad look. Just says Black Devil right there in silver, and then just a silver band right there. Certainly cannot complain. That is for sure. I personally prefer Black Devils uh, that have a, a gold band and a gold text to them. I just think it looks better. But hey, I'll take the silver. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the silver. I certainly cannot complain. That is for sure. Now, this cigarette does indeed have not one, not two, not three, but four lines of perforation on it. I was not expecting that much perforation, but th there is indeed that much perforation on the filter of this cigarette. Um, so we're going to see how it is. Um, let's take a look at the blend of the tobacco though the blend of the tobacco i'd have to say is definitely very much a medium blend there are some darker aspects but there also are some lighter aspects as well i definitely have to say a medium to dark blend if you ask me and smelling this cigarette right off the bat it smells really good i ain't gonna lie it does smell really good this cigarette yeah it smells fantastic it has a really nice sweet milky chocolate taste uh, taste smell to it it has a really nice sweet milky chocolate smell to it. it smells absolutely fantastic if i do say so myself well was there anything else i wanted to cover i have covered uh, the, the packaging i've covered the inside of the packaging i've covered the foil i've covered now the look of the cigarette which if I, if I, it looks pretty good if i do say so myself although it would be nice if the paper was actually uh, on the bottom actually matched the the paper on the filter but but it is what it is kind of thing close enough you know what i'm saying close enough um um yeah no i think this is going to be pretty good i do think since this is a flavored cigarette i might do a little bit of a dry puff just to see um where the flavoring is now from what i know black devils put all the flavoring in the filter so i am expecting to get a decent amount of the flavor pulling through when i pull on the filter but uh, let's go and give it a go nonetheless hmm not as much as i was expecting oh yeah and one thing i forgot to mention a lot of black devils also sweeten the filter tip and yeah this one's definitely sweetened as well the filter tip is definitely sweetened on this cigarette right here. Almost forgot to mention that. Almost forgot about that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Um, but the taste coming through was uh, sort of a, a chocolatey, sort of milky taste, I'd have to say. I don't know. I didn't really get much of it, in all honesty. Dry puff wasn't really much help, I will admit. Uh, I do think, without further ado, I think it's now time for me to go ahead and take a little bit of a sip of water. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the uh, Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan all lit up. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of them. But I do suppose, first off, I should probably get my lighter out of my pocket. And y'all already know, I got the black Bic today to match my black, um, to, to, to match the black cigarette, like, like I don't carry a black Bic on me every single day. Um, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here, all it up, and uh, let's go ahead and find out how the Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan actually are. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Of course, the wind picks up as soon as I want to um, get my cigarette all lit up. It is what it is kind of thing. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Let's go and try again. That is like barely burning. It's not nearly good enough. There we go, took long enough. Grab a screenshot real quick.
Well, already though. I'd have to say the taste of this is really good. I'm really enjoying the taste so far. The filter tip is definitely sweetened. That's where a lot of the sweet taste you get from the cigarette is actually from. But the taste of the cigarette itself is I'd have to say, excuse me, a really nice milky, chocolatey taste with a tinge of bitterness in there. Yeah, tinge of bitterness in there. Not too much though, if I do say so myself, but it is a really nice um, milky, chocolatey taste with the main sweetness coming from the filter tip itself. There's not much actual sweetness in the cigarette. Um, and I'd have to say uh, there is a nice tinge of bitterness in there as well. Yeah, not too bad if I do say so myself. Is there any better way to describe the taste? Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say it's just a really nice, slightly milky, sort of dark chocolate-ish taste due to the uh, slight, slight bitterness in there. But there's not much bitterness. It is mainly, overwhelmingly, a, um, a sweeter than not because of the sweetness on my lips. Um, sort of... Uh, Slightly creamy, dark chocolate taste. Not bad if I do say so myself. Now this cigarette burns really fast, so let's go ahead and quickly test the body real quick. Body is pretty airy, but not terribly sized as predicted, although it definitely is smaller than average. Uh, let's go and test the airflow real quick. Airflow is not bad, but The draw is definitely not super good, if I do say so myself, just simply due to the perforation. You do definitely have to puff away a little bit to get the amount of smoke you want. Um, and it definitely makes the cigarette a lot lighter than not as well. I think this would be more like smoking a full flavored cigarette if there was only one line of perforation or, or maybe two lines of perforation, but with four, it is very much smoking like a light cigarette, that is for sure. And the body is like a light cigarette and the draw is like a light cigarette kind of thing. The draw is quite light. I guess it's not like heavy draw per se, but it's very, very, very light draw just simply because of the um, perforation. It's a very, very, very light draw. And you do definitely have to draw for a little bit to get the amount of smoke you want, that is for sure. I do suppose the right way of putting it. Testing the body one more time. Slightly bigger as we got towards the end. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But um, let's go ahead and uh, take a couple more hits and then after that, go ahead and finish off the cigarette. This cigarette burns really fast and the wind is certainly not helping, that is for sure. But I think that was all I had to the cigarette. So I'm gonna go ahead and stub it out now and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts. Now I will admit that was a really, really, really fast burning cigarette. Definitely very, very, very fast burning. I just put the uh, cigarette down on the ground after I stubbed it out. I'm gonna make sure to throw that away after the video as I can't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go and take a sip of water, do a little bit of a palate refresh and then after that I'm gonna go and let you guys know what my final thoughts are on the uh, Black Devil Cacao flavored cigarettes from Japan. So I'd have to say the taste was very much a, it wasn't like nearly as milky as I was kind of hoping it was going to be. The taste was very much a dark chocolate taste with an undertone of milky. That's very much a good way. I think that's the best way of describing the taste. I know while I was smoking it, I described it as a milky dark chocolate taste. I'd have to say it's more like a dark chocolate taste with an undertone of milky kind of thing. It's like a slightly milky dark chocolate kind of thing. There's a bunch of sweetness in there, but that's all coming from your lips. The actual smoke itself does not have any really sweetness to it. And in fact, the smoke itself has some sourness slash bitterness um, coming from it as well. So it definitely really actually does taste like dark chocolate. Yeah, I really don't mind that at all in all honesty. Yeah, definitely the taste is very much a, I'd have to say, yeah, dark chocolate taste with an undertone of milk um, with, with an undertone of like cream kind of thing, dark chocolate with an undertone of cream, um, with uh, an even more undertone of sort of a bitter or sour taste. I definitely have to say, um, almost like slightly sour, but yet creamy dark chocolate. Eh, I, I wonder why these are chocolate flavored cigarettes after all, um, or cacao flavored cigarettes after all to say it correctly. Um, and then there's a decent amount of sweetness coming from the uh, sweetened tip as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. The body was uh, not super big. It was very much more like a light cigarette body. I'd have to say the 
Um, airflow was pretty good. The draw was uh, very light, if I do say so myself. And the thing I forgot to mention, the thing I forgot to talk about while I was actually smoking the cigarette itself was how rough or how smooth these are. These are definitely a little bit rougher than I was expecting. I'd have to say these are probably more like a four or five out of 10, not really a three or a four out of 10 um, on a scale of one to 10, roughness smoothness wise, with one being the uh, smoothest and 10 being the roughest. Um, but definitely not rough cigarettes by any means. Definitely smoother than not, that is for sure. Um, when compared to other Black Devil cigarettes, I do think I prefer like the Mocha Vanilla and stuff like that kind of thing. I just think that taste is just more to my preference. But this is definitely a pack of cigarettes that I'm gonna enjoy smoking the rest of the pack of. And um, yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf about that, that is for sure. Um, the packaging overall, I have some complaints on my behalf, as I'm sure you guys could tell. Um, I definitely have some complaints on my behalf about the packaging, um, but the quality of the packaging overall is not bad, and it definitely is not bad packaging per se. It's definitely above average, but it's not the greatest packaging in the world, and I definitely do think it could be better, that is for sure. Um, but it's certainly not like ugly packaging, I guess. It's just bothering me because the design just feels so half-assed. Um, the quality of the packaging, though, is pretty good. The inside of the cigarette pack is uh, a pretty basic look with this, but the foil looks pretty good. The cigarettes themselves look pretty good as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. That is for sure. Um, overall, uh, would I buy this pack of cigarettes again? I do think I would. I do think I would buy this pack of cigarettes again. While I was smoking, I do feel like I tasted a little bit of like a low quality or like metallic sort of taste kind of thing, but it wasn't like super significant. It might have just been the flavoring making that taste in all honesty, but I do feel like I got a little bit of a low quality paper taste, but it wasn't really enough to bother me, I will admit. I, I do feel like, I do feel like I would buy these again. I do feel like I would buy these again. But, but, these could by no means be a daily cigarette for me. They're just too much. They're just too much to be a daily cigarette for me. They're too flavored kind of thing to be a daily cigarette for me. I'm not really one to smoke menthol cigarettes on a daily basis kind of thing. I'm not really one to smoke flavored cigarettes on a daily basis, even when I have packs of uh, flavored cigarettes. It's just not something I can smoke on a super routine basis. So while I would buy these again, they would definitely have to be a special occasion cigarette or something that I would really have to be craving to want to buy kind of thing. And if I was gonna buy a flavored cigarette, I do think I would much rather buy a different Black Devil cigarette. I think I'd much rather buy a pack of the Mocha Vanillas or something like that kind of thing. Black Devil also makes a Mocha, Van Mocha Vanilla flavored cigarette, and I think that one was probably more to my preference, I will admit. I think I like that one a little bit more, but this is by no means a bad cigarette uh, per se, and it definitely is better than not. It's just not something that I would buy on a super routine basis, but it is definitely something I do think I would buy again, and it is definitely something I will enjoy smoking the rest of the pack of. Um... Comparable cigarettes to this cigarette right here, I definitely have to say taste-wise, um, other Black Devils and uh, Arc Royal uh, Chocolate Blacks. Um, I haven't really tried a lot of flavored cigarettes, I will admit, so I don't really have a lot of comparisons uh, for Black Devil cigarettes, I will admit. Um, but, you know, I definitely have to say Arc Royals and um, other Black Devil varieties, um, but I do definitely think over, I would much rather buy these than the Arc Royals. They're just higher quality and they don't have as much of like a chemical taste to them kind of thing. Um, or any chemical taste in all honesty. There's just like a slight low quality paper taste, but it's not really significant in all honesty. But um, yeah, no, I definitely do think I would buy these again, um, but just not super routinely, that is for sure. Um, and definitely something I'm gonna enjoy smoking the rest of the pack of. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. Um, I do think the rating I'm thinking for this pack of cigarettes right here is probably going to be a solid, who? what is the rating I'm thinking? I'm thinking a solid, hmm, seven and a half out of 10. I'm thinking a solid seven and a half out of 10. The cigarettes look pretty interesting. They look pretty good. Um, I like the whole black filter, black paper thing. Um, I like the design on the cigarettes. I like um, how the packaging looks, I guess more so than not. I like how the cigarettes taste, but I do have some complaints on my behalf. Um, the um, draw is too light for my personal preference and the packaging definitely in my personal opinion needs some work as well um, and there is a slight low quality paper taste as well it's to be expected because the paper is um, colored black after all so it is kind of to be expected but that is a little bit of complaints as well so yeah all of that adding up means that these are definitely a solid seven 
excuse me, this is definitely a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me in my personal opinion, at least. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for the Black Devil Cacao Flavored Cigarettes from Japan. Uh, and as said at the beginning of this video, this is the last um, cigarette from Japan that I had to review. Um, I have some like heat not burn cigarettes and I have some um, like uh, Kazami tobacco and I think I have a lighter that I still need to review as well. Um, so this is by no means the end of Japan reviews, but this is the last Japanese cigarette that I brought back with me to review um, to the United States. Um, so yeah, this is the end of a series, a little bit kind of thing, a little, little bit of the end of, of a series. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Japanese cigarettes, I ain't gonna lie y'all. You know, 7.5 out of 10 for these cigarettes right here. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I well smoked and reviewed the Black Devil Cacao Flavored Cigarettes from Japan. If you guys have tried these cigarettes that I reviewed in today's video, of course, please make sure to let me know what y'all's thoughts are on them in the comments down below. And if, even if you guys haven't tried them, make sure to let me know what y'all's thoughts are on them just based off this review. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.